Hello, I'm Ben and welcome to Start to Finish TV. Today we're going to be discussing free lighting techniques. But before we talk about the lighting techniques, we need to establish whether we want a harsh or a soft sauce. Now, a soft sauce usually looks better on people as it makes the skin look softer. It also removes some of the blemishes within the skin, whereas with a harsh sauce like the sun, that highlights them even more. Different types of lights will look better for different situations, so yeah, it just depends on what you're shooting. I personally prefer soft light. Okay, so now now we've established that, let's discuss the free lighting techniques. Okay, so the first technique we're going to look at is called Rembrandt lighting. This lighting technique is where one side of the face has is in darkness, however there is a triangle of light underneath the eye and to the side of the nose. This lighting technique is achieved by placing your key light 45 degrees to the side of you, raise it up and point it down at you. This should, depending on if you've set it up correctly, should create a nice shadow on the side of the face here. So this part should be a triangle and then this part should all be dark. Now, depending on how dramatic you want it, the more light there is, the less dramatic the shot will be. The less light, the more dramatic it will be. So, depending on how dramatic you want it, you might need to add a fill light to the side to get rid of some of the shadow. But if you are wanting a very dramatic look, you don't want a fill. Okay, so the second technique we're gonna be looking at today is called butterfly lighting or paramount lighting. It's called butterfly lighting because depending on if you've set it up correctly, the shadow underneath the nose should look like a butterfly. And it is sometimes called Paramount lighting because it was typically used by Paramount Pictures for their actresses in the 60s, as it is a very feminine look. This lighting technique is achieved by placing the light directly in front of the subject and having it up above. So it should create a nice shadow underneath the nose, the chin, and the eyebrows. Be aware though, if you raise the light too high, you will get raccoon eyes and the shadow from the nose will touch the mouth. This is not what you want. Okay, so the final technique we're going to be looking at today is called split lighting. Now, this is a very dramatic lighting style, so it's probably not going to be used very often. This lighting technique is used to show that somebody is evil or two-faced or they have something to hide. This lighting technique is achieved by placing the light 90 degrees to, even to one of the sides of the subject. The nose acting as a barrier should stop the light passing the side of the face, resulting in one side of the face being lit and the other side being in darkness. Okay, so just to recap, first you want to decide whether you want a harsh or a soft sauce. You can choose this by using diffusion or changing the actual light source that you use. The first lighting technique we covered was Rembrandt lighting. This is where the light was placed 45 degrees off to the side of the subject, raised up and then tilted down. This created a nice area of light on the side of the face that looked like a triangle and then past that was in shadow. The second lighting technique that we covered was a butterfly or paramount lighting. This is where the light is placed in front of the subject and then raised up and then tilted so it looks down at the subject and it should create a nice shadow underneath the nose, the eye ridge and the chin. The third and final lighting technique we looked at was called split lighting. This is where we place the light off to 90 degrees of the side of the subject and the nose acting as a barrier will stop the light hitting the other side of their face. Also, try and remember that the less light there is within the shot, the more dramatic it will be and the more tension it will build. And the more light within the shot, the less tension and the less dramatic it will be. Okay, so they were three simple lighting techniques. Hopefully you learned something new. If you did, be sure to leave a like on the video. If you want to learn something else, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell to be notified every time we publish a new video. So yeah, thank you for watching. I'm Ben with Start to Finish TV and I will see you in the next video.